Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing guys our awesome video on how to get GR level uh, color tables into GR level three, GR level um, two analysis. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll, I'll, you'll see in a bit. And GR Earth. Now these work for both, no matter what method they are. So I'm gonna be using on GR level three, just because it's better to test on GR level three than GR Earth. Just because I love the, pro I love all their products. Gibson Ridge is the best weather software you can get out there. I, but I think Radar Scope is the best on mobile. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go on your internet browser. It doesn't matter if it's Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox. Just go to this website, Almay Designs, um, forward GRX, and then forward, and you'll bring you to this page. Now you can see all these programs are supportive of Almay Designs. So GR Earth, GR2 Analysis, and GR Level 3. I'm going to be using GR Level 3. So you guys, all you guys got to do is really to go to Reflectivity. There's so many options. You have Reflectivity. You have velocity, mesoanalysis, precipitation type, and satellite. Now, for this one, you're going to need to uh, choose which one you want to do. So these images take a little while to load. But you guys can see that my place file is weather is weather tap, which is like I think the best one for this. So you guys can choose whichever you want. Um, so there's so many. You can, you, they even have radar scope. So they'll show. So just click on view code, and then it'll bring you this page. It'll have a ton of numbers. All you guys gotta do is highlight this, press copy, then go down to here and then search um, Notepad. This is where you're gonna write your message and save it. So just go over here. You can just click on. Um, you can just click like on paste. For me, I just use Control V and it'll be right there. And so then you guys gotta go to File, Save As, Save It to Documents, I believe, and just create a portfolio. I just put my GR Earth and wait. This is key, guys. Just type in any number or whatever you want to put dot p. Whoops. Oh, I actually messed up. So let's just go back. No, we got to delete that. All right. Okay, then. We're going to go back to documents, to our earth. Then we're going to type in 68.pal. You got to have the pal. So let's press save. You just remember, you just go to save as and this. Um, go save it to your documents. Then just create a folder and then boom, now it's on there. So now once you get on there, go to your Windows Explorer, right, it's probably right around here. Go to Documents, and then go to your Portfolio, and you'll have a ton of these. I have a ton of these things. So um, yeah, you guys can see that. You got, what you guys want to do is that it has this annoying t um, text on here. Just just rename it. Just click on, just right click and click on Rename. Just wait. Just click on Rename right here, and just delete that, and just have a PAL. It has to have PAL, or it will not work. So of course it'll make that stupid sound and then just click yes, doesn't matter if it says unusual. <clears throat> so just um, just click on the, just reduce the size of it. And then what you guys want to do is put it side by side and then drag it in and boom. You guys can see that it has changed. Now let's go to GR Earth. Let's see I want to do with the GR Earth too. You can. So let's see. Let's go to GR Earth. Um, let's click on let's click on enlarge so the same thing and uh, wait so let me see this guy has got to load everything it's one of the things that sucks about GR Earth well not nothing sucks about GR Earth just take a little time to load stuff but that's what you're, but that's what's supposed to happen so just wait dun, 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 dun. sorry guys if I sound kind of weird just because um I sound uh, my my nose is kind of acting up and why isn't this loading come on I, I just if it doesn't if it just doesn't load then just click right click on it. Um, let's see. Okay, now it's loaded. Boom. So now you can see there's not a lot of weather going on at all. So let's go. Let's say let's go down here. Just click on your thing and boom. You can see now that it has changed. It works on GR Earth too, guys, which is really awesome. So I'm really gonna use the other one. But you guys, that's really gonna it, um. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, link it down in the comments section below. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter for any other questions. My Twitter username is at expertweather, expertwx. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial video. Peace out.